Hey y'all, Terry Fidanzak here, Certified Life Coach, founder of Girl Power for Good Foundation, which is home of 850 Elite Volleyball Academy. So today we're here to talk about a topic that has been on my list for about a year and a half. Yes, I do have a list of topics for blog posts because that's who I am. I make lists. This one is sit out the shame game. It is something that I am constantly struggling with, shame to be specific, because I was raised in a household that uh, shame was used as a motivator. It doesn't motivate, spoiler alert. And especially when it came to dieting, I had eating disorders in high school, and it was always me versus food, and shame was the way that I kind of kept myself in line. My little inner drill sergeant used shame as one of her biggest weapons. And all of that, over years and years and years of yo-yo dieting, I realized that it's not working. So I read this book called Self-Compassion by Dr. Kristen Neff, and it is amazing. It is the antidote to the shame game. And it's so simple. It's basically accepting ourselves for where we are and who we are. And when we get triggered and we go into that habit of shaming ourselves, we notice it and we stop it and we just are very gentle and kind and say things like, that's okay. Yes, we made a mistake. I'm human, I make mistakes. And then just sort of allowing ourselves to come back to center, whether it's about food or about something at the workplace or something at home. You put your foot in your mouth. I do that a lot. Just an acceptance that I'm a good person and I am deserving of self-compassion. If you read the book, the self-compassion book, you'll see all the amazing science behind self-compassion and how it leads to resilience, which is kind of my thing. So I encourage you guys to sit out the shame game. Just say no to shame. Try something a little different called self-compassion and tell your inner drill sergeant to go take a nap. She probably needs one. Thanks so much for listening, you guys.